No, you don't. It's not what it looks like. Kind of. It's not. Fun for who? You? This isn't fun for us. Alright, so hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, by the title, we are doing another episode, but we're doing episode two of Hot Mess. Guys, this series is so good already. I'm very excited. Um, I did change the characters a little bit because Scott looked like a grown-ass man and he's only 20 So I was like mm, the beard. It's just it's not working for me So I switched him a little bit and I switched Sabrina a little bit just like her hair color. That was like it um, So yeah, that's what I did But I had to change Scott because I kept looking at it and then I was like mm, he looks too old <laughs> it, it made me feel uncomfortable so yeah, we're just gonna jump into it, see the tea and drama for today, and all that, so let's do that. Okay. Okay, before the trial, Sabrina DuPont, yes, I am your public defender for this case. Great, <laughs> lovely, this is stressful, I forgot about our parents, to be honest. Since we couldn't afford a regular lawyer, this is the best we can do. Let's just hope he's good. Your family lucked out. I'm the best of the best, be supportive, be petty. Girl, you best be nice. Okay, this man is helping you. Glad to hear it. Don't even worry, Miss DuPont, your parents will be out in no time. I find that highly doubtful, but it's fine. We're fine. I'll make the feds pay. Uh, is he crying? Did he just run away and cry? Come back, you idiot. That was your whole case? Mom, Dad. Oh. Oranges, their new colors. I promise I won't give up. It's okay, sweetie. You did your best. This is actually sad, but at the same time, like, <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Oh my god, this is stressful. Yeah, we're gonna stress. Oh, hey, Scotty. <laughs> Sabrina. So I'm guessing your parents didn't win the case? No, because we're back here alone. As if you haven't seen it all over the news. I have. Th then why'd you ask? Uh, you know what? It's fine. Did anyone say anything about my outfit? Girl, your parents are going to prison and you're worried about your outfit? That is the least of your worries. No. Damn it! You know what? She's... It, this is just who she is. Why do you even care? Every celebrity at least once wants to run for paparazzi in a perfect outfit and dark sunglasses. Um, the fact that that's on your priorities right now? Okay. I can't even get that. If I'm gonna lose everything, I at least want to keep being a model. <laughs> is that what's really bothering you? Ugh, I almost forgot about that double date with Molly and Chase. Oh, yeah. But at least Scotty's gonna be there. That's a plus, right? Right. How am I gonna convince Scott to go? Trust me. He'll be easily persuaded. Yeah. All right, out with it. What else is on your mind? Um, just that you and me have a date with these other people and then that, that's, yeah. Mm -hmm. Since you asked, there's something else, Scotty. I love how we just share a nickname. Hey, Scotty, that's when you know you want something. Scotty? Yeah, that's, yeah. What do you want now? Who said I wanted anything? <laughs> we can't just be friends? What do I want? Nothing. Why do you think that I want something? Nobody calls me Scotty Sabrina. <laughs> well, <laughs> consider us this, this is a first, okay? We're on another level, yeah. So I can't just be nice to you, but I make it sound so good. I think Scotty's cute. I think Scotty's cute. I think Scotty is cute. Don't you like nicknames? No princess. So you get to do all the nicknames, but I can't. Uh, that's not how this works, Scotty Boo Boo. Just spill it. You know what? Never mind. You're right. I asked too much of you. I'll just figure things out myself. Guilt tripping him. Nice one, Sabrina. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Not the cute puppy dog face again. You think our face is cute? <laughs> Look, I didn't mean to kick you while you're down. Come on, let's see that beautiful smile of yours. Guys, when I tell you this man has a hold on me, he has a hold on me. How can I help? Oh, well, since you asked. <laughs> I'm so glad you asked. Oh, no. I'm sorry for this. I need you to go on a date with me. Um, need? It's your fault, by the way. What are you even talking about, Sabrina? Well, remember the time that you said that we were dating, but we weren't actually dating, and you told that girl, and, we, and you lied, and now she thinks that we are, and I can't go back and say we aren't dating because you said that we were dating. Yeah. That, that situation. Molly, that mean girl from the party, invited us on a double date. Not gonna happen. Well, this is your fault, so it is gonna happen, okay? What? Oh, come on. You said I was your girlfriend in front of her. Now everyone at school thinks we're dating. If they think we broke up or I lied about us being together, I don't know how I'll survive school. Ugh, why do you even care? Well, I don't know why you made the lie up to begin with, because we would not have this problem if it weren't for you. I thought you hate this girl. Yeah, but you have to be friends with your enemies. 
get with the program, Scotty. Scott, I'm the new girl who everyone was talking about anyway. And then I got further humiliated with that costume party thing. Now everyone is laughing at me like I'm pathetic. Sometimes I even believe them. You're one of the only people who doesn't make me feel like that. I want this date to go well so that I can show them that I'm not backing down. Please say you'll go. We only have to be cute on the roller skating rink to rub it in Molly's face. Roller skating rink? Yeah. <laughs> Are you out of your mind? Um... Maybe, yeah. Do you even know how to roller skate? I'm the best of the best. I'm decent. I'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Duh. I'll figure it out. I'm a fast learner. Hmm. Show me what you can do. Oh, uh, we know how to fall. That's what we, we know how, we, you will just catch us, right? Right. Jesus Christ. Okay, you know what? We don't need you making fun of us either. All right. You're even worse at skating than I thought, Sabrina. Okay, thank you so much for the confidence boost. This is really helping. Oh no, oh no. This is honestly me. I tried roller skating, no. Scott, please. I've been humiliated enough this week. You're the one who agreed to a roller skating date. You look super cute in those skates though. Stop making me blush. You're not supposed to do this, no. Oh, she's not impressed. You know I hate you, right? Keep telling yourself that, princess. We will, okay, deny all the time. The annoying part is he's right. I can never hate him. Cause we're already in love with him. <laughs> I never had this much fun with any of the snobs I used to be friends with. Spending this time with Scott, I've never felt this way before. Okay, relax. Um, don't be winking at us. That's sending me mixed signals. Okay. Not that I'd admit that to him. It's time for a wake up call, Sabrina. Be careful. Don't swing your arms around wildly. Okay, all right. Okay, we fell. You're not gonna be on the rink alone tonight. You've gotta watch where you're going. Thank you for that, genius. We know that. Kids are gonna be there too. You know what? If you're so worried, I'll do it without you. I'll tell them that you got diarrhea, you got you cheated on me, you got diarrhea. Stank ass, yeah. That you got diarrhea. Seriously? I'll be a strong, independent woman, as usual. I'll slay there by myself in a stunning outfit. Oh, okay, we're choosing outfits now. Let's see what we got. These better be good. Who wears this to a roller skating rink? I'm sorry. No. That one's cute. She has like strawberries. That's cute. Okay, that's looks like it's for prom. Let's go with the second option because that's actually fitting for a date, you know? Come on, Scott. I know we can do this. Okay, I'm push him away? Wait, practice with Scott? I'm not pushing him away. This is more time for me to spend with him. Of course I'm gonna take the chance. Does anyone want to teach me how to like I have roller skates, you just have to teach me. Okay, I'm spending the coin. You won. I'm coming with you. Great, this is gonna be so fun. You can just catch us whenever we fall. So what will I wear for tonight's date? Option one, two, or three? I already know we're going for two. Obsessed. And now my hair could use a change. Oh, premium hair? Ew. Ew. Cute, we love that. They actually look so cute together. Wait, <laughs> am I a matchmaker? I think so. But you're gonna owe me a favor. Mm -hmm. I guess I have no choice. Oh my god, thank you. Don't get too excited. I'm a strict teacher. Ugh. And I'm a quick learner. We'll see about that. Yeah, we will. Let's start with your stance and just standing up. And now let's make a few steps. Oh, oh he's getting closer. He gripped my hips. See? It's, you're distracting me. You're distracting me. This is distraction. You gotta make a wide step. Like this? I could feel the chemistry between us. This looks so wrong, but like... <laughs> I'm not supposed to be blushing. This is too much. I need like, <laughs> I need a fan. <laughs> it was so exciting and nerve wracking at the same time. Stay focused and attentive. Well, we can't do that when you're right behind us. Okay, so back up. Thank you. Remember, you're not alone on the rink. You can't bump into people. Okay, right, okay. Suddenly his other hand wrapped around my waist while the other one holds my hands. Why is he, oh, he's holding our hands. Like, okay, I was like, why is he holding our hand? <laughs> See, it's like dancing. Yeah. Oh, okay, all right. We're getting very, very touchy, guys. <laughs> Why is your heart racing? How, how can you tell, what? Our heart's not racing. How does he know our heart's racing? It's not. You're too close to me, yeah. You're making me nervous and stressed. <laughs> well, oh, okay, we're falling. Oh no, all right. Damn it, DuPont, it's DuPont. Get it right, mate. What did I say about concentration? How are we supposed to concentrate when you're right behind us, okay? The answer is we can't. We can't, this is your fault. Everything is your fault. All this is your fault. You're the teacher, it's your job. No, it was your fault. You distracted me. How did we distract you? It, you were, what? No. How? His eyebrows rose, exactly. You're caught in the act, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was on top of him. His hands were still on my waist. Suddenly, Scott started breathing more frequently. Are you okay there, Scotty, boo boo? Hmm? He glanced at my body and unintentionally touched my bare thigh with his fingertips. Just get off me. Okay, someone has issues. Relax. Scott, just don't mess up next time. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> not the attitude change. <laughs> That's what we're not gonna do. Ugh. Okay. Huh. You are easy to distract, aren't you, Scotty? Oh, wow. You actually don't look half bad. Who wears that to the skating rink? I just want to know. It is a date after all. I like seeing the side of you, Scotty. Oh, and there's Tweedle D and Tweedle Dom. We are so glad you two made it. Yeah, we love your company, Sabrina. Ugh. You know what, Chase? Just stop talking. That'd be great. And Scott. Mm-hmm. Sure. Thanks, dude. You look great, Sabrina. Um, how about you pay attention to your girlfriend? That's right next to you. Yeah. Yeah, she's gonna hit you. You, you too, Molly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is my favorite song. Let's roll. Molly is so oblivious. No, she just doesn't care because she wants you. What do you mean? That guy's trying to hook up with you. Hmm, very observative. Yeah. Are you jealous? And she still wants you around. She'll figure it out. Jealous? Well, she must be my bestie now. Um, are you? No, we're not going to say jealous. No, well, I would. Actually, yeah, we are going to say that. Jealous? You're funny. Come on. Don't you see it? The way he wouldn't stop oogling you? Okay, relax. It's not that serious. I don't know why you're having a tantrum. Why does it bother you so much? It's just annoying. Annoying to who? To you. Because you're jealous. Yeah. I love the song. You sure you can skate to it? What's that supposed to mean? It's just not the easiest song for a beginner. We're skating in circles. I don't think it takes a scientist to figure that one out. No, seriously. I don't think. What the heck? Uh, not us being a professional. Wait, did we lie? Saying we didn't know how to skate when we actually did know how to skate? Did we do that? Mm, girl, you're good. You're good. I actually don't know how to skate though. <laughs> oh, wow. She looks so hot in those skates. I, this man does not have a filter. I feel so bad for her. You do realize that I'm right beside you? What were you saying? Oh. Uh, He's actually disrespectful. Sabrina, how? How do I skate so well? We had a roller rink at the mansion. So, you know, I've had some practice, aka you got played, but thanks for that little flirt date session, yeah. What are you waiting for, Scotty? Are we gonna skate or what? Blinding colorful lights and beautiful music? Scott took my hand. It's a date after all. Oh, are you jealous? Yeah. What does he see in her? Um, uh, maybe because we're not a bitch. How about that? Okay, that was really aggressive. Maybe because we're not rude. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, why is she coming up near us? Oh, no her tripping us she's actually rude oh my god are you okay you seem to be falling for me in multiple ways yeah i mean are you okay yeah yeah are you okay you know girl bye oh no scott and sabrina are you hurt girl I, we know you don't care about us we're fine it felt like somebody pushed me like you molly People can be so rude, totally. What a cruel world we live in. They didn't, they didn't even apologize. What a cruel world. What a cruel world we live in. I'm just glad you didn't break anything, Sabrina. Oh, you were such an empath. Yeah. Ew. Stop looking at us like that. Yeah. Bye. You know it was her, right? Of course we do. I would recognize those over-decorated nails anywhere. So what are we going to do next? Uh, leave you guys, because you guys are literally annoying. Go home? What? It's late. I don't want this night to end. Well, that makes one of us. Oh my god. Look. Fortune teller readings. Sabrina, do you believe in these predictions? I do not really know. I'm gonna say not really just because I don't want to spend time with her. Well, not really. We should go and try one. I just told you not really. Count me out. Yeah, same. Okay, he's a grandpa, obviously. <laughs> Seriously? You gonna leave me alone, Scotty? Oh, don't worry, Sabrina. I'll keep him busy. Ew, good for you, whatever that means. Thanks. Um, I'm gonna say whatever that means. Whatever that means. This stuff is for girls. Ugh, not one of those guys. Okay. I know what we have to do. Let's just get this over with. Let's go. Trust me, Sabrina. We don't trust you at all. She's a very famous psychic. You won't regret it. Well, let's see what this psychic has to offer. Greetings, newcomers. Oh, Liliana Ramira. I'm such a fan. Oh, I definitely feel your delightful vibes. You seem to be lost, my child. Me? No. You, Sabrina. Oh, not you knowing our name. That's actually creepy. Yeah, I'm gonna run now. You know my name? I know everything. No. Everything's online. No, my child. I use my readings from the spirits. Okay, sis. Spirits are whispering to me that you are lost. See? I told you Liliana Ramirez would know right away. Or you're a part of this plan, Holly. I don't trust you. Who's getting the reading first? Sabrina, you have to go first. Really? Yes, I'm so excited we got this. I'll wait outside. I know how private these things are. Huh. So, my child, I can see you've been abandoned lately. That's what the news says. Whoa. Your rage. Your disappointment. You've been left alone, but not by choice. I see an image of a lonely night in the dark night. General phrases. 
I'm not buying it. You stop trusting people. Okay, seriously, you're starting to freak me out. Where there's smoke, there's fire. What? You will smell the trouble. Trust your senses, my child. Don't let anybody fool you. I feel you are constantly fighting for something, or somebody, against many people actually. An endless fight with a dead end. Remember when I saw the knight in the darkness? He wasn't standing. He was moving, towards a sparkle of light. What's that supposed to mean? You have a chance to get to the light only if you keep going. Darkness is petrifying, but you are not alone. Spirits tell me there is a significant other. What? Your spirits made a mistake. I'm not dating anyone. You want me to make a reading about this person in your life? You obviously have a hint who it could be. I feel the vibrations are green, so I am right. Vibrations have a color. I can tell his soul is connected with yours. Wait, is she talking about... Um, Scott? Scotty? You think she's talking about Scotty? She has to be talking about Scott. What does she know about him? What does she know about us? There is no us. There's just you and Scott separated. There's no together. I have to find out. Am I gonna have to pay for this? Yeah. So how about it? Would you like a love reading? Get your love reading and find secrets out? Ignore your ch I don't want to ignore my chance, but I also don't want to spend it because I feel like this lady is lying to me, you know? But I'm gonna spend the coin because I feed into this. Yeah. Yes, I'm actually pretty nervous, but hopefully it'll make me feel better. What I can tell for sure is I feel romantic energy pointed at you. You get quite a lot of signals, but this one stands out. I see that you appeared like a hurricane in his life. <laughs> well, we did. Okay, all right. He wasn't ready for you. He hates changes, but something, something changed his mind. What? The loss. What? He lost somebody to his dad, you guys. Somebody very close to him. Guys, oh my gosh. Spirits whispered to me it was the only person who was there for him. Scott's father died. And how do I help him? Your situation was similar, right? Spirits tell me you lost your dearest and nearest ones too, but I feel that they are still alive and present in this world, unlike in his situation. He, he's been alone this whole time, but that's not all. What else? Something else made him like you. That man has feelings for you already? We just met each other, you guys, though. What? I smell roses. I can't smell anything. They're roses that have yet to come. Spirits are saying that there will be somebody in particular who will want to separate you. Yeah, Holly. Look out for yourself, my child, because that threat has no good intentions. Well, she's waiting outside the door right now, so, yeah. What threat? I see a shadow of a woman and a man. Two people? They both stand in your way. Yeah, it's her man and her. Two crazies in one. One will come invited, the other one, uninvited. They want to take away your life. To kill me? I don't know, my child. Don't trust anyone, except for that lonely night. You can trust and fill you. I knew Scotty was a real one, yeah. His heart is filled with emptiness, but it heals every time he sees you. <laughs> and don't, I already love him, but like, I, I'm just gonna, yeah. He will always be there for you. Guys, they're cute together. Spirits also whisper that you will hate green. Oh yeah, green is in my color. Are you done? Okay, yeah, you can go ahead. Yes, so what can I do for you? I would really like to know whether my boobs are gonna grow. And if not, can you look through your third eye with this epigram account of plastic surgeons? Uh, girl, what? Who is the best option? I love how that's her problems. Well, well, well. Oh, he's having fun. What are you doing? Winning. Lucky winner, what prize do you want? Go ahead and choose Sabrina. Oh my god. Really? Yup. Anything for my gorgeous girlfriend? I know this is fake, but like, it's making me feel giddy. <laughs> the pink teddy bear, white teddy bear, brown teddy bear. Let's go with the white teddy bear. White teddy bear, please. Here you go. Thank you so much, Scott. Oh my god, that's so cute. Is someone gonna win me something like that? No. The answer's no. This teddy bear smells like roses. <laughs> what? That's so weird. Why does the teddy bear smell like roses? Anything for my girlfriend. Scott, you are such a caring boyfriend. Can't say the same about your man. <laughs> Babe, I told you I almost won. Yeah, but here's the thing. You didn't win. Okay. Almost doesn't count. But you're still staying over at my house, right? I'm not sleeping with losers, Chase. It's just the game, sis. Dang. Babe! Wow, you hit all the targets? I imagine I was aiming at Chase's head. What are you gonna name this guy? I haven't thought about it. I'm not five, should I? Um, I haven't thought about it. I haven't thought about it. I'm curious. I'll name him... How will you name your teddy bear? Hmm, teddy bear. Should we name him Scotty? No, that's weird. Let's name him... Um... Snuggles? Snuggles? Hello. I don't know. This is, it should not be this stressful to name a bear. Okay, let's name the teddy bear Winnie. Yeah. Winnie. Winnie? Typical teddy bear name. Well, duh, it's Winnie the Pooh. Hello. Oh, shut up. As if you could come up with a better name. What about Sabrina? Oh. Mm, 
<laughs> no. Haha. -ha. That was exhausting. Actually socializing with people. I feel that. <laughs> that was just a date. To be honest, it went even better than I expected. Find out anything interesting at the fortune teller tent? Maybe yes, no. Maybe. Let's keep him on his toes. Maybe I did or maybe I didn't. I need a shower. Um, okay, hold up. Suddenly Scott blocks the way with his hand. What is he doing? What now? Remember when I said you'd owe me for the date? Exactly. So? I want my favor right now. Okay, what is it? And what do you want? Cook me dinner. You want us to cook you dinner? Okay, how about a sandwich or some mac and cheese? Is that good enough? Seriously, that's what you want? Don't look at me like that. Remember when we met and I said you seemed like you lived a sheltered life? Well, now I've gotten the chance to get to know you better. And I'm mad enough to admit I was totally right. Okay. Well, even if you were right, it doesn't matter. Okay? I'm still waiting for the part where I'm supposed to cook you dinner. Oh, right. The truth is, I'm guessing you're used to people around you doing everything for you. Get mad if you want, but it's true. Yeah, you can't really get mad at that, sis. Even now. When's the last time you did something for someone instead of the other way around? I'm guessing you've never cooked for anyone before, not even yourself. You want to thank me? Start with that. I guess that's fair. You know, I hate admitting it, but you're not entirely wrong. Just one more little detail. Oh, God. I want you to cook for me in this. In what? Are you crazy? <laughs> what? He's actually insane. You're mad? What? Seriously, Scott? I thought this was about me becoming more independent. It is, but I thought we could make it more fun. Fun for who? You? This isn't fun for us. Two birds, one stone. Mm -hmm. Enough with the analogies. You're gorgeous, Sabrina. Thanks. We know. Can we change back into normal clothes now? Plus, I had to spend time with Chase alone tonight, so I deserve it. Do you, though? Do you? No. And notice, I didn't even break his nose after he said he wanted you. What? What's so surprising? I'm surprised I didn't break it myself. Start cooking, Dupin. You keep saying our last name wrong. Whatever. So, Chase said he liked me? Oh yeah, that guy is obsessed with you. Make that two of you, because you're obsessed with us too. This is a nice chance to tease Scott a little. Payback for making me wear this. Oh, yeah, we're gonna enjoy this. Time for a little revenge. Make Scott jealous, complain, and don't lure with him. Oh, no, no, no. Of course I'm gonna make him jealous. Yeah, I waste my money on this, but it's fine. <laughs> Interesting. What exactly? You know, Chase is pretty cute. Do you think he like a pic of me in this outfit? Or do you want me in this all to yourself? I didn't say that. You seem pretty touchy whenever I mention Chase. Chase just annoys me, that's all. Mm-hmm, sure. Sure, Scotty. Why are you so suddenly interested in him? Why are you so suddenly concerned if we're interested in him? Huh? Gotta keep my options open. Besides, you're my friend. Friends discuss their crushes, don't they? <clears throat> are you okay? Yeah. She's driving me wild. Mmm, yeah, that's the point. You should come and try whether you like this hot sauce. Oh, I like hot stuff. Mmm. Okay, now I'm getting uncomfortable and this is getting gross. Yeah. Oh, okay, he's coming in the kitchen right behind us. All right. So? Hmm, that's actually not bad. I didn't know you had it in you. There's a lot you don't know about me. I didn't know I did either. How does it feel to be wrong? There's a lot you don't know about us. There's a lot you don't know about me. Stick around, I'm full of surprises. To be fair, there is a bit of truth in what you said about me depending on other people. I've never really had anyone call me out on it though. What an honor to be your first. I mean, you know, in a matter of speaking. Mm-hmm, of course, yeah. For the record, there's a lot I can do though. I bet. I'm talking about other things, like dancing. Seriously? You wanna see? Are you that good? You'll have to pick up your jaw off the floor when I'm done. Prove it, Sabrina, if you dare. I can see it in his eyes, he wants me bad. Besides the fact that I'd love to tease him, it would be a great chance to get closer. Then who knows what could happen. I have to pay again? This is such an expensive episode. <sighs> but I'm gonna spend the, I'm gonna spend the coin. Please, Sabrina, or do you want me to beg? Oh, I want him to beg though. That'd be funny. Yeah, um, Dry Scott crazy, or, uh, I'm spending the coin. I'm, I'm spending the coin. You asked for it, Bradshaw. Uh, that's, you're dancing the whip and nay nay? Sis, no. Holy shit, she's a horrible dancer? We know. Ew, what? Can't take your eyes off of me? Scott sharply moved me to himself. He wrapped his fingers around mine. What are you doing? Sir, my heart skipped a beat. I lifted my eyes up. He gently put a strand of hair behind my ear. Holy, now you can't take your eyes off of me, Sabrina. Okay, that's because you're like in our personal bubble. <laughs> I started breathing heavily. Damn it, I wanted him. On me, against me, no, no. Self-control, sis, no. I didn't care. All I knew is I couldn't stop thinking about him. You thought you could tease me? It's working, isn't it? Our lips got so close to each other. Scott's hands moved down my back. Oh! 
<laughs> this is a bad idea, but it's a good idea. But it's not a good idea because we're living together. I put my hands on his chest. You sure know how to get into trouble. I think I smell trouble. What kind? No, literally Scott. Uh, girl, not you burning. My lasagna. Oh my God. Why God? Why? It's all your fault. Now's not the time to be pointing fingers. Um, guys, how about we put the fire out instead of just yelling and arguing? So you didn't notice when your oven started smoking? Yeah, they were a little occupied. Yeah. No. Where's, oh, I was like, where's his shirt? But it's cause she's in lingerie. This is awkward, this is awkward. I guess I know why. No, you don't. It's not what it looks like. Kind of, it's not. Is it really bad? You mean your outfit? No, no. The house man. Well, uh, you don't have a kitchen anymore. Great, good job, Sabrina. Oh no, good news. All your neighbors are jealous as hell. Why? I'm confused, but the rest of the house is fine. You can go back to your uh, game now. Thanks, sir. It's not what it looks like. Speaking of doing things for yourself, Sabrina, you need to get a job. Okay, I don't know why this keeps coming back and attacking me, but I don't like it. You have anger issues. I want my kitchen back. Right, I forgot about that. A job? Okay, well, that was the end of that, guys. That one was so, guys, this is getting steamy very fast. I hope it's like not, I feel like, I don't want it to be like a right away though romance, you know? I like the slow burn a little bit, get into it. Um, but guys, we burned his kitchen down. Like, what? <sighs> Anyways, um, he always turns his back on us and he like starts to get angry at us, but it, like it's not our fault It's partly his fault. He never takes responsibility. Like this is it's we're equally e we're, we're equally at fault, you know? Yeah, but guys, I hope you guys liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you like me, subscribe down below Um, I hope y'all liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. What, what did I just repeat myself? If you guys like it, give it a thumbs up. If you like me, subscribe down below. I love y'all. Don't forget to love yourself. Until next time, I'll see y'all later. Peace out, scouts. Bye.